The brake connector actuates the chain brake when the brake handle is engaged. The connector has a metal lever that links with the brake handle. It has a metal post that attaches to the brake band and the tension spring. The two metal pieces are connected by a plastic link. Most problems with the brake connector are caused by a bent or broken lever or a broken plastic link. Replacing the brake connector is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the brake cover from the saw. The cover is secured with two nuts. I'll loosen the nuts and also loosen the chain tension. Then I'll remove the nuts and the brake cover. I'll go ahead and remove the bar and chain as well, just to get them out of the way. Now I can begin disassembling the brake. Before I do, I need to engage the brake. The tension spring inside the brake is currently under a lot of tension, and if I remove the cover, the spring will go flying out. So I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to engage the brake. And in doing so, I've removed most of the tension from the spring. Now I'll remove the cover. There's still some tension on the spring, so I'll be careful as I remove the cover that the spring doesn't come out and I'll use a screwdriver to remove the spring. Now I'll pull the brake band and connector away from the housing. Now I can install the new brake connector. I'll slide the brake band onto the post on the brake connector and reinstall the plastic spring fitting. I'll also align the small metal pin with the hole in the brake band. And this assembly is ready to go back into the housing. Now reinstall the spring. I'll place the spring over the post. Then I'll insert a small screwdriver into the end of the spring and I'll use the screwdriver to compress the spring back into the housing. I want to make sure I don't have my hand in the way of the screwdriver in case something slips. Once the spring has hooked over the edge of the housing, I'll hold the spring down as I pull the screwdriver away from the spring. Now I'll reinstall the cover. And now I need to unlock the brake so I can reinstall the cover onto the saw. I'll finish up by reinstalling the bar and chain. And that's how easy it is to replace the brake connector on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.